Every little kid dreams of one day flying off into the stars. And now for the discount price of $200,000, that dream can be a reality for two and a half hours. Yes, space tourism is finally descending from the realm of the multi-millionaire, and it's expected to descend much faster in the next few years, eventually dropping to an estimated $20,000 per flight. It's a significant improvement on previous offers. Starting with businessman Dennis Tito in 2001, who paid $20 million for a one-week stay on the International Space Station, the price tag for commercial spaceflight has always ranged between $20 and $35 million. The obstacle up until now has been the development of a safe and reusable commercial launch vehicle. Past space tourists, or private astronauts, have sort of piggybacked onto other space missions, which these days are becoming a rarity. The company making this offer is Virgin Galactic, which plans to launch specially built rocket planes from Spaceport America, the first commercial spaceport currently under construction in New Mexico. Seated aboard the VSS Enterprise with five other passengers, you will ascend to just over 109 kilometers, reaching a speed of Mach 3 and experiencing about six minutes of weightlessness. Granted, this is suborbital spaceflight, but since the technical boundary for space is the Kármán line at 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface, it still counts. And with numerous other companies like Space Adventures and Space Island Group also competing for a share of the market, the spaceflight of the future may eventually be no more costly than a cross-continental flight, though hopefully with a better movie selection.